Hi everyone, let's continue systematic literature review. In this particular paper, we will discuss what could be the process, how you can create a flow diagram through this, uh, for this, your particular uh, systematic literature review. So literature review in this paper, what softwares would be helpful that has given in the conclusion part. So literature review established the foundation of academic inquiries. However, in the planning field, they lack rigorous systematic review. So how we can start? Here is, you can see research methodology for this study, literature search and evaluation. Inclusion criteria, what could be inclusion criteria when you are uh, getting data from any database and uh, literature identification. So here is uh, author has given, we started the literature search by using the keywords, how to conduct literature review, review methodology, literature review, research synthesis and synthesis. So this kind of keywords when you are giving and um, uh, author said we search Google Scholar, Web of Science, AppSco Host, so three frequently used database bases by researchers across various disciplines he has used. And then we come to the, here is the search on Web of Science using keywords like review methodology, literature review, and synthesis yielded a total, how many? 882 studies. In this paper, he had mentioned an AppSco host using keywords review methodology, literature review, and research synthesis return 653 records for all peer-reviewed studies. So screening of inclusion, that's the most important part because uh, the methodology of literature review, it's important. And uh, quality and eligibility assessment, we will measure it. And then iteration, iteration here is once the article established, the review methodology was found. So we identify the best practice examples by searching article that had reference and methodology papers. Like, for example, chosen based on their adherence to the methods after which preference was given to planning or planning related articles. So then is the data extraction and analysis. So here is uh, information on the following two subtopics, the identific, uh, the, uh, the definitions, typology and purpose of literature review. And second one is the literature review process, what review you are going to opt. So typology of the literature review that takes two forms. One is a review that serves as background for an empirical study. And second one is we can say that would be standalone piece. Means you are doing literature review that is not supporting for any empirical study you do not require literature review for this purpose so these are the two forms and here is you can see a well-defined uh, author has described what is narrative review right all these types of review he had described what is narrative review and further is we can come to the textual uh, narrative synthesis. So textual narrative synthesis often requires studies to be organized into more homogeneous subgroups. So then we come to the, here is meta summary. So meta summary, that is outline, that is the goes beyond the traditional narrative review and textual narrative synthesis by having both a systematic approach to the literature review process and by, by adding a quantitative element to the summarization of the literature. Then we come to the, I'm just rotating because this table is, uh, I would rotate this table. So that could be more helpful to you. Otherwise, uh, you can see uh, this table is reflecting typology example of literature review by purpose of review. By purpose of review. So now you can see um, rotate right, right. So now I think it's more um, easier to see. So this one is the typology and example of literature review by purpose of review. You can see uh, literature type, all literature types, review type, narrative review, textual narrative synthesis, meta summary, meta narrative, scoping review, and all we had categorized, right? All these uh, papers that would be relevant to your field. Uh, this is just one of the examples. So test is quantitative mixed method or qualitative method, right? 
under this quantitative method review type is literature type is quantitative mixed and qualitative but review type is again that is a question that would be meta analysis that is bayesian uh, meta analysis realist review or ecological this one is triangulation so each and everything well defined in this paper and here is uh, purpose here is extend this one is the literature review qualitative and again review type meta ethnography thematic analysis synthesis or meta interpretation or meta study mixed method also critics also all these things are mentioned here then the here is the type of literature data that would be extraction data create from use of content analysis and uh, here is analyze and synthesis table charts and narrative etc so that is well defined here uh quantitative mix qualitative and all that is mentioned further now again we can rotate it back right so this one is the well explained meta narrative means what do you mean by meta narrative what do you mean by meta analysis further is a scoping review bayesian meta analysis so bayesian like bayesian meta analysis is a unique method that relies on calculating prior and posterior probability is to determine the importance of factors factors uh, on an outcome so experts in the field of interest record their judgment of what they believe will be the important factors on the outcome rank so further we are doing ranking and here is realist review you can see here what do you mean by realist review and uh, further is ecological triangulation that table is well defined here then meta ethnography also and uh, further is uh, we can see uh, this one is the meta study what do you mean by meta study thematic synthesis each and every point well defined meta interpretation what do you mean by meta interpretation critical interpretive synthesis and uh, then further is uh, framework synthesis then hybrid reviews and next they had given process of literature review that uh, earlier we have discussed in divided into two categories that is the second category is process of literature review so well defined process is here right uh, uh, like you can see uh, these are the common eight steps like first step is formulating the research problem second step developing the validating and review protocol third is searching the literature and fourth is searching the literature and fourth is screening for inclusion and uh, fifth is assessing quality sixth is extracting data seventh is analyzing and synthesizing data and eighth is reporting the findings as mentioned in the figure so all these steps well defined step one step two step three so now you can see in the stage one planning the review so step one is formulate the problem and develop and validate the review protocol and uh, in the second category you can see second phase is conducting the review in the in this phase step 3 step 4 step 5 step 6 step 7 and now you can see funnel shape so this is a narrow down the body of the work so review title review abstract and review full text here is step 3 search the literature screening for inclusion assess quality extract data and analyze and synthesize synthesize data here is that is why it is funnel uh, shape because narrow down we are work and reporting the review step eight is report findings so how you have to report them and uh, all these steps well defined what could be the channel like like if we will talk about search for the literature so channel for literature review electronic database you can identify any electronic database and backward search and forward search like uh, here is um, uh, author has mentioned here in web of science absco pro quest ieee databases and how you are going to use boolean operators so here is keyword use for the search so boolean operators well defined here and and or and and or or uh, whatever is the like well defined one example has given um like cultural difference in terminology for example eminent domain is called compulsory acquisition and parking lot is called car park in australia and new zealand so suppose you are doing some uh, that one is the uh, words use is cross country studies and during the cross country studies it's 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 not similar so you have to keep in mind when you are extracting your data then is <clears throat> sampling strategy further is then here his uh, well defined mention is um, this one is the step 4 screening for inclusion 
and SS quality. Then further is after SS quality, you can see extracting data, analyzing and synthesizing data. Now this would be the flow diagram. You can see literature review and evaluation for exclusion, evaluation. Uh, this one is the for inclusion. You can see identification records identified through database searching and 97 screening after screening that would be because duplicate you had removed so that would become remaining left is 92 then record screen 92 and here's the record excluded with region and 90 uh, this one is the 28 why because books or conference proceedings 9 has excluded did not offer guidance on literature review so excluded 4 Review methodology irrelevant for the planning four, not in English one. Here is outdated tool one and review on a specific topic that is nine. <clears throat> then is eligibility. Full text, you can see full text, uh, uh, full text article assess for eligibility that remaining 64. So full text article ex excluded with reason 18 why you had excluded you can see the difference the 92 and 64 so because did not offer guidance on literature review four on the basis of this review methodology is relevant to planning four not in english and all you can see eligibility and inclusion so studies included 46 and total number of studies included 99 how come that is increased because studies included 46 an additional recorded identified through forward backward searches 17 right so these would be added and additional member additional methods and examples papers 37 so 46 plus 17 plus 37 that will become 19 so this kind of table i'm sure you can prepare when you are doing uh, review discussion and then finally is discussion and conclusion in discussion, conclusion literature review uh, systematically can enhance the quality, replicability, reliability, and validity of these reviews. So all these steps has given what are important. So first one is this. First is start with the research question. All these steps has given over here. Second one, choose a review type suitable for review purpose. Third one is also, right? And fourth one is we can see comprehensive in the literature search and to aware of the quality of the literature. Fifth is also, and then is the sixth and seventh. And uh, further is finally, uh, author said, because technology software is available for facilitating systematic review. So those are the software like EndNote, RefWorks, Zotero, these are available to use to manage bibliographies, citation and references. And further is we can say software such as NVivo and Atlas TI can be used to quote qualitative and quantitative studies through nodes or by typical or by topical areas, right? So here is, this is the entire paper. I hope you can you can you can follow this paper and through which you can write your excellent literature review and uh, systematic literature review so i hope this video would be helpful to you and this paper link i am giving in my description box otherwise this paper is uh, on the google scholar free of course this paper is available you can download this paper and this paper is not very old it's 2017 and by the sage is the publisher so I hope this video would be helpful. Stay tuned and keep watching.